Hello, 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 and welcome back to Daily Boosters, where we open up a product of Magic the Gathering every single day of the week. It is Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed the Dragon's Maze pre-release pack opening from last night's video. As you can see here, we have a Gideon Planeswalker pack to open, or deck to open. This is from Amon Ket. Uh, one of my favorite products to open from Magic is the Planeswalker deck. Cannot wait for the new ones in the core set 2019. This is what it says in the back. Rise among the worthy. Get started playing Magic right away. Use your courage and passion to assemble a massive army. Then empower it with the strength to drive your foes into the ground. Stand alongside the Planeswalker Gideon Jura with a card unique to this deck to lead your allies to glory. And you can see what comes in this deck, ready to play 60 card deck featuring a foil premium Gideon, Gideon Marshall Paragon Planeswalker, Planeswalker card, if I can speak correctly. Two Amaket booster packs, a strategy insert, a magic quick reference card. Let's get right into it. This is going to go perfect with my ally build that I am currently planning. Usually these come with like a wrapping on it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This did not have a wrapping on it, but as you can see, it is unopened. Put that to the side, pop this open. Take a look at the uh, Gideon first. I'm going to put it right in the sleeve, because I will be using it. And it is a little bent already. A lot of these Planeswalker cards come that way. Let's see what he does. He is a 4 mana, 1 plane, so 5 mana to play. Mythical Planeswalker. It's plus 2 ability. Untap all creatures you control. Those creatures get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. His 0 ability, which is going to be my favorite. Until end of turn, Gideon Marshall Paragon becomes a 5-5 five, five human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a Planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. So that's basically a free creature every time. And then minus 10. Creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Tap all creatures your opponents control. So that is basically a build up your creatures, build up your defense, tap all of your opponent's creatures, and swing in for the kill. Um, all the contents comes in this awesome Gideon deck box. Pretty neat. A little storage, not storage, uh card holder I guess I don't know so let's open this up inside should be two booster packs and a 60 card deck there's the deck two boosters as well as a quick reference guide don't need that and an almond kit I think it tells you this is actually kind of thick I'm not gonna oh, I guess I'll open it Gideon picture. Look how big this is. Just goes over the cards in the deck. Talks about playing the deck. Over here it even has what you should buy next on the back side. Another picture of Gideon and a little info, or a lot of info about Gideon. That's a lot of crap to read. So let's get into the deck first. Probably taking this deck apart for the most part. Um, you get Hazard Favor. Basically, um, well, I, I thought this was the Gideon, Get Gideon card, but it's not. It is a rare enchantment. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target creature you control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. If you do, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Glory Bound Initiate. I already have one of those in the deck that I'm building. You may exert Glory Bound Initiate as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one, plus three, and gains lifelink until end of turn. An exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. And this is the Gideon Getter, I call. Um, when Gideon's Resolve enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Gideon Marshall Paragon, which is the Planeswalker card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, if you search your library this way, shuffle it. And then creatures you control get plus one, plus one. There's two of those. And we'll just go through the rest of the deck pretty quick. Couple Gustwalkers, three Gustwalkers. 
Nefcrop Entangler, Pathmaker Initiate, Honored Crop Captain, Human Warrior. Whenever Honored Crop Captain attacks, other attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Get two of those. Companion of the Trials, Bird Soldier. Three of those. Devoted Crop Mate, Human Warrior. A lot of humans in this deck. Graceful Cat, two of those, three of those, four of those. On Crop Crusher, Crasher. On Crop Crasher. Minotaur Warrior, three of those. Sparring mum I was about to say sparring zombie. It is a zombie. Sparring mummy. When sparring mummy enters the battlefield, untap target creature. So that goes perfect with glory bound initiate. If you can play it at the same time as you exert glory bound initiate. Top crop elite. Bird warrior. Hyena pack. Two of those. Let's put these cards down. Get into the lands. Plains, mountains, and then we get two the enchantments, sorceries, and good stuff. Cartouche of Zeal. I've opened this before. Two of those. Impeccable Timing. Impeccable Timing deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Trial of Zeal. You can see what it does. You get two of those, three of those. Electric Fi deals four damage to target creature and two of those. So that is the deck that you get when you buy this Gideon Planeswalker deck. So there's the rares that you get. A couple Gideon getters, a creature, and a rare enchantment. Put those under the Gideon. And we'll get right into the booster packs. See if we can't pull something that we can add to the deck. That's what these are inserted in the uh, Planeswalker decks for. So you can play the deck first and then open the packs to see if you can uh, get anything to make the deck better. So we got a Nago Oracle, another Cartouche of Zeal, and another Spar Mummy. Hecma Sentinels, Scarab Feast. Ornery Kudu, Evolve in Wilds, Cartouche of Strength, Impeccable Timing, I guess that's an uncommon, or no, that's a common, Dissenter's Deliverance, alright, here's the first uncommon, Lord of the Accursed Zombie, Blood Raged Brawler, and nope, Spring to Mind, is the last uncommon you can see what it does and the rare another glory bound initiate so i'll take that not bad not bad i love the uh, full art lands another glory bound initiate and the last pack Seeker of Insight, Fling, Anointer Priest, Human Cleric, Hieroglyphic Illumination, that's really cool artwork, Doom Beetle, don't really like that card, Honorary Kudu again, Final Reward, Exile Target Creature, Dissenter's Deliverance again, Cartouche of Strength again, Hyena Pack, Kenra Charioteer, Jackal Warrior, Gale Strike, and the last uncommon is another Trial of Zeal. The rare is dun, 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 Swelter and Suns. Sorcery, Swelter and Suns deals 3 damage to each creature. And it has Cyclone, 3 mana, discard, discard, and draw a card. Forest and a snake token. So, nothing too crazy out of the packs. I will be using this Gideon, though, as, uh, I guess, the quote-unquote commander of my human deck that I'm brewing. So I would recommend getting a uh, 
Planeswalker deck. If you have like a deck in mind that you want to build, or if you uh, like a certain Planeswalker, definitely be using the deck box. I think they run for about 15 bucks at the store. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe for more videos. Be sure to check out tomorrow's video to see what pack of Magic the Gathering we crack. Until then, peace.